Hello, I'm Natalie Glasson from the Sacred School of Omna. This week's channeled message is from Pallas Athena and it's entitled How to Be Powerful. Greetings, beloved beings of light. I am Pallas Athena. I am the overseer of the twelfth ray of light. It is my purpose to oversee the Christ consciousness energy, the unconditional love of the Creator. It is also my purpose to distribute this energy throughout the universe of the Creator and allow all to achieve their Christ consciousness initiations. The Christ consciousness has nothing to do with religion. It is simply the unconditional vibration of love from the Creator. Love has so many awakening properties. It allows each of us to explore the truth of the Creator within our being. When we are in a space of love, when we embody love and recognize love within our being, we are powerful. Many perceive love as being weak. However, when you are in a space of love, when you recognize the purest unconditional love within your being, you are accessing your power. You are accessing your truth, your essence. Allowing this to flow forth into your creations and your reality. Today we are here to speak of how to be powerful in your ascension and in your physical reality. We first must understand what power is. Power is a life force energy, a driving force, a momentum born from the creator that flows through your being. It is the essence of the creator, therefore it is the essence of your being. When you are in alignment with your truth, with the Creator, you are in your power. This is because you are balanced, you are at peace, you are in a space of love, you have clarity, intuition, connection with the Creator. And therefore what you bring forth is truth. The way that you choose to bring this truth forth, its expression through you, is completely unique for you. And it is in the expression that often many become confused about what power is. Many believe that power needs to be strong, to be loud, to be confident, maybe to be overpowering. Some might perceive power as being violent or harmful. We can recognize that power is a sacred expression of your truth, a truthful expression of the essence within your being. When you are in alignment with this and you allow your truth to be expressed through you authentically, followed by your intuition and inner guidance, then you know that your expression of power is true 
appropriate and guided. Many fear power because they misunderstand power. Many have been victims and feel as if their power has been taken away from them. Again, when you are connected to your truth, when you're aligned with all that you are, your essence, there is no way that you can be a victim or weak. And there is no way that you can express power in a way that is false. You can only express power in a powerfully loving and truthful way. And so this means that you can trust in yourself and trust in your own power. Some might say that they have been a victim, that their power has been taken away, they have been hurt, they feel confused, upset, maybe even ill. Please recognize that your power has not been taken away from you. If you look within, you will see it still. And anyone who caused you to feel like a victim or weak, they were not coming from a place of power or even overpowering you. They were coming from a place of reacting, of being hurt themselves or wounded within. In actual fact, being overpowering or being a victim, they have nothing to do with your true power and you existing powerfully in your ascension and your reality. You may need time to contemplate this. You may need time to contemplate it in your reality. There may be some that cause you to feel as if your power is limited. Remember that this is only a reaction, an emotional, mental reaction. Because they could act the same, but you could allow yourself to be in your power, to be aligned, to be centered, to be balanced, to be connected by simply breathing deeply even recognizing the presence of love within your being and your connection to all that is the creator. When you're in that space, you are in your power. And then approach the same person or situation from that space. And recognize what power does, how your power guides you. And you might find yourself reacting in a different way. You might find yourself sharing words, actions in a different way. You might even perceive the other person or situation differently. When we begin to recognize that power is the truth within, And that in order to live powerfully, there is a need to connect with the truth within. Then we begin to see the illusion of power all around and within. And begin to dissolve this illusion.
Therefore, accessing new vibrations of light, new understandings, enlightenment, and new ways of being. I imagine that there is one practice or one piece of music or maybe a mantra or a book that when you are with whatever it is that you feel more centered, more like yourself, more in your truth. I invite you to find what that might be and to experience it. And to recognize that when you're connecting with love and peace within your being, that there is also the presence of your power. And that it is waiting to speak with you, to share, to be expressed through your being. And to work with you in your ascension and reality. Thank you for allowing me to speak. I am Pallas Athena. I thank you. Thank you everyone for being present with me today and listening to the channeling as well. I hope you enjoyed it from Pallas Athena. And I hope it makes a transition or a moment of enlightenment in your reality regarding power and the way that you perceive other people around you. Thank you. See you next week. Bye. I'd be greatly honoured and appreciative if you liked and shared my video today. My YouTube channel has so many channeled videos now, so please do explore those. And if you want more information about joining me on a live webinar or receiving the weekly message via email, please go to omna.org, O-M-N-A.org, and you'll find so many different channeled material on my website. Thank you.